it's really just a, a platform of expression uh, through uh, various areas, be it music, be it creativity, be it dance, be it style. Uh, that's pretty much what hip hop represents for me. A voice for people that, that necessarily don't have a voice. Hip Hop Day was established in 2014 to address the relationship between the hip hop community and the city of Portland. Uh, there was just a cloud over the city that uh, gave the, the impression that uh, the city of Portland didn't want hip hop to exist in the city. That was experienced through a, kind of like a systematic shutdown of a lot of the clubs and venues uh, that were primarily uh, occupied by people of color. So it gave the feeling like though, you know, we had a lot of pressure from police, we had a lot of pressure from OLCC, um, fire marshals, etc. So people were, you know, really frustrated and upset that this was the feeling and the vibe we were getting. So me and Starchild, rest in peace, um, took it as our mission to go and find out what was really happening. So we went and addressed the city and said, tell us what it is that's causing this type of pressure and is this the message you're really sending to our community that you don't want us here? And as we started the conversation, we started realizing that it wasn't that at all. Uh, the city's responsibility was to you know, allow safe business practices to go on in the city. And um, they didn't really understand the hip-hop community and how we moved. All they were hearing was kind of reactions to incidents that were going on. Um, so we wanted to find out detail. Long story short, as we started investigating and we start sitting at the table with police officers, we start sitting at the table with fire marshals and people from these various agencies, one thing we found out real quick, there was a lack of communication amongst all of the agencies, plus a lack of communication with the hip hop community. So everybody is moving on their own island, but nobody is communicating and wanting to understand what each other is doing. We welcome hip-hop here. Now we just need to work out details on how can we make hip-hop be, you know, safer events, uh, events of accountability, but not just with the hip-hop community, but also with police. How can we hold the police accountable? How can we hold OLCC accountable? How can we hold fire marshals accountable? How can we better commu communicate collectively so we get a chance to build better relationships so if or when something happens, it's not uh, put on hip hop as opposed to it might be held, one person is held accountable. And that's both on both sides of the issue. Because we found out that there were police, that individual police, that were doing their own thing. But when you show up representing an entity, you it's a general, uh, it gets generalized. If a police that may not like hip hop goes to a venue and say, if you play hip hop in here, go put some pressure on you. That's not the police as a whole saying that. That's that police officer. So how do you hold that police officer accountable so it doesn't get generalized that every police doesn't like hip hop? Same thing with OLCC. Same thing with fire marshal. But then, if you do run into uh, promoters that are doing bad business. How do you hold them accountable as well? And so that's where Hip Hop Day was, how it was established. Not for the event, but before it was for building the relationship and establishing solid, positive, building relationships between the city and the hip hop community. Yeah, it's 1995 and I feel so alive. Hit that I-5 in the rental car from Enterprise, but in Mary J. Blige. Hope they don't recognize black sushi from my talisman Spotted in the photo shoot with groupies They all want the soul of a martial artist with a heart full of gold Way back just on courtesy But it won't last, just moved on 
Now adequately succeeding and adequately succeeding every bird But my song, see, heard it days ago And did you black bird, I got a dark cocoon to go Left a nigga man surprise yeah. I really mean it, your life until you recognize I'm moving mountains, walk on water, you just paralyzed Resurrect Lazarus, Nazareth, savages, kind of calisthenics And calluses, uh. flashing the selfie camera uh. Fuck is you standing for? Notorious with no shitty that's like the Tory gets with no piggy It's just the truth like it or not Crush no piggy White girls get flow, so it's burning Ego distant from beating your ass Niggas ain't learning Make this over the power with the homies So watch the knock and never And this is what it come down to Young and brown and ain't no one fool Educated and proud You know Portland The life of a dope rhyme spitter Ain't always easy To live To learn Is to grow May we grow together today Connecting all that was broken. Rest in peace, Star Child. From a dope bomb spitter. Capital Z. I love you, Paulin.